We're ready to welcome 50,000 visitors, and we'll show the world what a great place this is to live, to work, and to play. Thank you. A city of champions open for business today after 18 months of work. Cleveland's public square is public again. And if a child in a Cavs championship t-shirt doesn't capture the mood of the city, I don't know what does, Derek Waller. And you spoke to the mayor today about this incredible project finally completed. Yeah, Lee, he was on hand for the dedication. You know, uh, this $50 million project was years in the making and almost exactly 30 years since the last time the city spent millions of dollars to renovate our premier park. The band played as children danced in these brand new fountains. It's so good to have something downtown for kids. All a part of this official rededication. This is your public square. That we've seen before. This is News Channel 5 video of the last dedication on July 16, 1986. That's the late Mayor George Voinovich. Now 30 years and $50 million later, it's happening again. This time, downtown's new city councilman, Kerry McCormick, says we're already seeing the positive effects. New York Life is one of the companies that moved, I think it was 350 jobs, uh, to right off the square. There's new restaurants moving in, too. All that money for the trees, new pavement, grass, fountains, and underground infrastructure came from a combination of state and local tax dollars, bonds, and private donations. But at least today, the Mitchell's ice cream was free. Yeah. Free is good. Jacqueline White has worked downtown for years. At first, she balked at the price, but not now. This is the heart of the city, and everybody comes down here, and I think it is an, an improvement. And so it proved me wrong, so I'm one of those persons I'm very satisfied. Still, that $50 million is money not being invested in other blood parts of the city where abandoned buildings pose risks to families. They could have been used to fix up my neighborhood. Right. What do you say to those people? Well, you have to do things on both ends. Uh, there's uh, the only way you're going to be successful is you look at the whole picture. When you kind of solidify the core, you kind of help to convince the private sector that, you know, you should be doing something somewhere else. And today the city said this very well could become the selfie capital of Cleveland. That could be true all year round because these fountains over here in the wintertime, those will turn into an ice rink. Live in Public Square, Derek Waller, News Channel 5.